the House of Representatives has stepped down an amendment to a motion moved on insecurity across the country seeking to invite foreign machineries to help fight insecurity. The amendment made by Honorable Ahmed Jaha followed a motion brought on the floor of the House during plenary on Wednesday. Correspondent in Abu Chukin Abuji has more on this story. According to Jaha, efforts by security agencies over the years has not yielded much results, hence the need for Nigeria to engage foreign missionaries to help fight insecurity across the country. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, on the floor of this house, we have been passing resolutions reaching consensus on security issues. But we have not been seeing practical results, even in a dietic encounter or an executive session. Debating the motion, some lawmakers advocated that security officers' welfare should be critically looked into and needed support should be provided to enhance their performance, adding the government should massively invest in education and other means of survival which will curb insecurity. They, however, oppose the call for foreign machineries, saying such will cause embarrassment to the country. Any direct correlation between insecurity and one, poverty. There's a direct correlation between insecurity and unemployment. There's a direct correlation between insecurity and education. These are established facts. And that is the reason why if you look at the areas most prone to insecurity today in Nigeria and you compare them with the statistics on the degree or percentage of poverty. I fully support all the contributions and ask that we take a day for us to discuss this issue of insecurity on the floor of this house and perhaps declare or urge the executive arm to declare an, an emergency on insecurity. One of the major problems is the issue of food, food insecurity, which we appear to overlook. In adopting the motion, the House, however, resolved that the leadership meets with the President and take the discuss on insecurity further. The House also resolved to appropriate more funding to rebuild security structures that were destroyed by insurgents. In another development, the House of Representatives also resolved to investigate the arbitrary dismissal of 600 staff members of Central Bank of Nigeria by the leadership. This was equal to a motion of urgent public importance moved by a member representing Karu Kefi Kokona Federal Constituency of Nasarawa State, Honorable Gaza Jonathan Bifwi. That these retrenchments, without any sort of fair hearings or panels, or criteria set out could cost the nation a lot in settlements. A director's tenure, according to civil service rules, is two terms of four years, or 60 at the attainment of the age of 60, whichever comes first, I believe. This makes them like permanent secretaries. The lower chain there also resolved to urge the federal government and National Bureau Commission, NBC, to address the continuous fatal boundary dispute among communities in Osho and Oyo states. This followed the adoption of a motion sponsored by Honorable Lukman Alani Murashiro. The House also notes that the boundaries dispute in this local government in Osho State and Oyo State have led to numerous foulness clashes, which has claimed many life of the people living in that affected community. The village affected in Osho State include Papa Village, Baku Village, Onoya Village, Oboajo, Malamo, and Enewo local government. And uh, all as Eneye, Akeneye, Arushi Village in Nayidiri local government area of Osho State. More legislative activities will be deliberated when the Lord Chamber resume plenary on Thursday.